Hi guys, this is Momo back with new tutorial that is how to sew baby romper. This is the pattern that we are going to use with four pieces. Let us start with cutting. Firstly, I'm going to map the four piece pattern over the fabric. Fabric today we are using is a cotton with the touch of denim and uh, we are going to map the pattern over it You can find these patterns on the dresscraft.com which is 5 year old baby pattern. If you want I will also update the pattern according to the 4 or 5 size uh, for 5 size babies. Let us start with cutting and this is the pattern for the basic romper and what I have just cutting it, it is the back leg or you can say the back pen piece and this is the front uh, pen piece and the rest the one is the in the rectangular one is the front bodice piece as you have seen that I have measured it with the measuring tape as it is a five year old kid uh, pattern I am and I am making it for six year old kid pattern so it will be uh, some uh, slightly changes in the measurement that you can do it by yourself if you are a good sewer or if you are not a good sewer and you want me to do with the, some custom measurements I can definitely do it for you right now it's already on addresscuff.com for five years old kids so grab it over there it's just an image just go ahead save it on your desktop and just work with it this is a rectangular piece which is called as a front bodice piece a simplest one uh, it can also be said as a quadrilateral one because it's not a proper rectangular shape it's a quadrilateral shape and uh, it will be a uh, two versions it will be a two four piece remember that it will be a two four piece not a single piece because it will be it will have an inner seam for better look for a romper look you can see in a uh, sewing step and now I'm cutting the bias tape which can be long um, the measurement can be fine in the pattern as well and now I'm right now a measurement it, it has a 16 inch measurement and it can be higher it can be greater or lesser according to your uh, designing tips if you want a longer bias tape by longer bias tape then you can uh, do, go for a 20 inch or you want just a fixed bias tape you can go for 4 inch uh, according to your kit waist length now we will start with the swing firstly we will prepare a front bodice the upper front bodice side firstly I'm just decorating with this beautiful um, elephanto sticker to give it a damn look it is a just take us just a single one piece of a front bodice piece and just uh, apply the sticker on it this is the second bodice piece which can be said as the back one and just swing a bottom one and now I'm attaching the ready piece with elephanto 
uh, sticker and going to stitch them doing going to do inner seam this is the front pen part you can see that it has a zipper sort of view just to give a more designing look and more professional look as the baby can't wear with zippers and they doesn't need them uh, so we can do with we just shape it in a way that they have a zip <laughs> zipper in it this is the pocket the side pockets i'm just preparing up the thing so we can just embed them together applying some stickers to a pocket it gives the very cool look and as you can see i have also applied the simple bias tape around the upper part of the pocket so can it will so it can give a very cute and dynamic contrast look I'm just applying the prepared pocket over the front pan part and right now we are just preparing different parts and the rest we need is to join them or stitch them accordingly now i'm attaching my front piece with front pan part as you can see i haven't attached the in i haven't do inner seam for front side because i'm going to do this now as you you can see that i've just changed my mind to not do that at uh, um, later because uh, uh, because it will give more good look when it done with the front part hold together with the pant just make a mark cut or if you have a scalpion or skeleton scalpion or a sharper uh, scissor with you guys so just cut down the edges so it will wrap up very good and now sharpen with the, some sharper thing like clip threader or something like that threader clip you can see the sharpness of the edges of the front bodice now i'm starting with the back piece
Now I'm preparing with a bias tape. Which is 16 inch long and uh, I'm just checking it out whether it will suitable it's with is suitable with the uh, rompers waist or not I'm just doing the inner seam then I will revert it so we will get the upper version of the bias tape this is the easiest step I will uh, in between the sewing you can if you are watching my videos you can see that I am I am used to give some quick techniques through my experience as I have a wide range of experience over there so I've just share with some quicker tips that can be useful for sewing easy sewing techniques you can also find this article on my dresscraft.com <laughs> jokes apart that will very benefit for you a good benefit for you uh, you can see that, that I am just uh, double stitching the bias tape and or finalizing the bias tape for applying on the romper You can set it like that on the back piece. Just sew it regularly. This is a very good technique, please. See carefully that I have plotted circular kind of piece in between these two fabrics in these two pieces this is the back piece which will be go inside It will give very good look from the side and you can see it in just near uh, future because it will going to complete soon just sharpen up the corners again so it can when we revert back so it will give very sharp corners to you yes just mark the small small um, cut pieces cut cuts around the, all the arc now this is the front part I'm going to see you but before that we will just finalizing the front with the outer seam because outer seam is very very first thing to do because final finishes are very 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 crucial things when it comes to the sewing finishing is the very important thing so be be sincere about use simple and uh, matching thread for it and just do this is a matter of single single stitches around the walls of your fabric now I am going to plot the front the uh, I'm going to plot front piece over the back piece and just see the side and you can see that I have wrapped the circular part which I have uh, surrounded over the back piece you have remember and going to sew it along with the side of the first this is I'm going to start with the bottom 
this side see this I have taken the circular part uh, um, upon the front part and make this you see this is the thing which I am explaining to you a very little minor thing but you need to focus it on the main crucial part is done we have done with it and here you go it is looks like that Now this is the finalizing part we are going to do with the upper seam all around the romper and then we will do inner seam for the leg part and then we all done with it. make sure about the sides of the front and the back piece because it has uh, the most crucial part as we have a circular hidden part which is which need to be under cover now this is the bottom of the romper and we are just folding it simply because it has already has so much design so much stickers on it and um, pocket with design so it will look going to look very good at the end a very dramatic and cute and sophisticated contrast for the baby Now we are doing inner seam. If you have an overlock, please do overlock as well because it saves the thread and fabric ends to make them spreading out. And this is the final version of simple seal romper with elephanto sticker and you guys can subscribe us for more also if you want a pattern for a romper you can go to the dresscraft.com i've just embed the link uh, in the card as well and in the description as well please do subscribe us like us and follow us and just see you thank you so much bye